Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to use model mapper library in our Spring Boot application to map one object into another object automatically. If you look at the post service sample class, within a post service sample class, we have written two private methods. So post private method converts post entity to post DTO and second private method converts post DTO to post entity. Similarly, in comment service sample class, we have written two more private methods post private method converts comment entity to comment DTO second private method converts comment DTO to comment entity all right and just assume that if uh, in a real time projects you know if there are 10 uh, you know 10 or 15 or 25 domain entities then we need to write a code manually to convert entity to DTO and DTO to entity so instead of writing manu you know, code manually to convert entity to DTO, why not we use third party Java library to do this uh, stuff automatically. So there are a lot of Java uh, you know, object mapping libraries are out there. Alright, and which we can use to automatically map one object into another object. I mean, uh, we can map entity to DTO and vice versa. Alright, so we are going to use a model mapper library, which is a popular one. And here, if you look at the model mapper uh, website, so model mapper, uh, the main goal of model mapper library is to make object mapping easy by automatically determining how one object model maps to another based on the conventions. And it provides a simple refactoring SAP API for handling specific use cases. So alternative to model mapper, you can also use map strut. So this is also one popular library to map, uh, you know, object. Uh, from one object to another object. So we are going to stick with model mapper library. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use and configure model mapper library in our Spring Boot application. So let's take a look into how to configure and use model mapper library in our Spring Boot application. So very simple guys, I made this thing very simple by providing the steps. First step, we need to add a model mapper library uh, as a dependency in our Spring Boot application. And second step, we'll define a model mapper class as a bin in our spring configuration and third step we will inject this model mapper spring bin uh, in our service classes and yeah we use model mapper uh, methods or apis to map one object into another object pretty simple so let's go ahead and let's add a model mapper library dependency to our palm.xml xml file so go to the browser and just search model mapper maven dependency and hit enter and select the first link okay and here you can see uh, all the model mapper library versions you can select post one so this is the latest version of model mapper library and go ahead and select maven tab here because we are using maven project so we need to add a maven dependency if you are using gradle then you can go to the gradle tab and you can copy this dependency so let's go ahead and let's copy this maven dependency just click on it and copy and go to the perm.xml of our project and here at the below op lombok dependency just paste it that's it and save the perm.xml file so basically IntelliJ will download this dependency from the internet and it will store in local Maven repository. Alright, once we, we add a model map, mapper dependency to our palm.xml, second step is we need to define a model mapper class as a spring bean in our spring configuration file. So let's go ahead and let's see how to do it. So we can define and configure model mapper bin inside spring boot main class. Because this main class annotated with at the rate Spring Boot annotation, and this annotation, uh, if you look at the description here, this annotation indicates that configuration class that declares one or more bin methods and also triggers add to configuration and component scanning. It means that we can define, uh, you know, Spring bins inside this class using at bin annotations. So let's go ahead and let's configure a bin for model mapper class public model mapper 
make sure that you choose model mapper from org dot model mapper package and then the method name model mapper and just return object of model mapper class and let's make this method or object as a spring bin by using at the rate bin annotation so we are using java base configuration okay great so this is the second step the third step is we inject this spring bin that is a model model mapper in our service class and we will use to convert one object into another object so let's head over to post service sample class and we're going to inject model mapper spring bin inside it let's first create a field private model mapper and say mapper so we're going to use uh, you know constructor based dependence injection to inject it so what we're going to do is we're going to just pass uh, argument to the other existing constructor pass one more argument that is model mapper and here we just map mapper equals to mapper that's it now we have injected model mapper in post service IMPL class now let's go and let's use a mapper to map one object into another object automatically so let's go ahead and let's see how to do it so go to the private methods so here we have two private methods post private method converts post entity to post dto second private method converts post dto to post entity and we have written code manually to do these uh, things so what we'll do we'll we'll comment out the code and we'll use a mapper apis so first we'll change map to dto method so let me just write the code here post dto equals to and let's use a mapper dot map so there are overloaded map methods and we need to use appropriate map method here choose this one okay source and destination so let's go and let's choose this one and pass source as post so we are converting from post to post dto right so source is post and destination is post dto dot class that's it and now we just comment out this code pretty simple isn't it and similarly let's change map to entity method post post equals to let's use a mapper dot map and choose this method to map source to destination in this case the source is post dto and the destination is post dot class and we want to comment out this code that's it pretty simple isn't it so we have successfully converted post entity to post dto and vice versa